second of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory and also we'll be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero and over the few years we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area and I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. Dolores Roach Motley passed away May the 26th, 2022. A graveside service will be held at the Oak Grove Christian Church Cemetery Saturday, June the 4th at 11 a.m. Norris Funeral Services is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting norrisfuneral.com. Barbara Jean Hamby Co, 79 of Ridgeway, passed away Wednesday, May the 25th, 2022. Visitation will be held from 12 to 1 p.m. Wednesday, June the 1st at Norris Funeral Services. Funeral will be held at 1 p.m. Wednesday, June the 1st at Norris Funeral Services. Nancy Carpenter Bondurant, age 85 of Martinsville, died peacefully May the 25th, 2022. A memorial service will be held at Christ Episcopal Church in Martinsville, Thursday, June the 23rd at 4 p.m. A reception will immediately follow this at Chat Chatmoss Country Club. Arrangements are made by Norris Funeral Services. Delbert Blankenship, 74 of Bassett, passed away Sunday, May the 29th, 2022. The visitation will be Thursday, June the 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. at Bassett Funeral Service. Funeral service will be conducted Friday, June the 3rd at 1 p.m. in the Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake.